Hello, and welcome to my bench. I'm at work today, and we have a little thing to work on. This is a Radio Systems Studio Timer. These things are about as commonplace as gravel, and they're just everywhere. I'm, I'm, I bought these things uh, when I built this place in 1984, and they're starting to fail. I'll show you what it does here. When I turn it on, plug it in, it doesn't even have an on off switch. This thing is just on all the time. When I plug it in, it comes up and it's got digits. Well, <laughs> let's hit start. Nothing happens. Stop, nothing happens. It flashes a tiny little bit when I hit reset. So we're going to find out what's wrong with it. Okay, so. Here's the inside of these things. There isn't a heck of a lot to them. Uh, if you, if we can look inside of it here, there's a little power transformer down here, right here. Uh, supplies approximately 12 volts. It's got uh, half wave over here, full wave uh, rectification, two diodes. Um, and a filter cap and a bunch of bunch of little little caps down here and the main portion of the thing is this um, I can't see it in this light in this particular one is a Signetics B 8344 IC uh, it's right there. Uh, basically, it's bas it's a clock on a chip. It's got one quad NAND gate over here that's used for switching when you hit the buttons for start, stop, and reset. And that's about all that's in it. The rest of this on here is just the LED driver board. Uh, uses this one uses uh, five. Five LEDs, hours, minutes, and seconds. So that's it. That's all that's in it. So we're going to do a couple little checks here and see what we got. I have a feeling I know what's wrong with it, but we'll uh, we'll turn it on. Uh, get the scope probe here. Hook me up a little ground got to get a better clip on this scope probe. It's terrible. This thing is just, well, can't complain about it. Uh, the boss, the other boss found this thing, scope, in the trash. And it works just fine. So, let's see. Get it here where we can see it with as little as possible. Alright, let's plug it in. I do have a schematic for this thing, which I'll show you. And the first thing we're going to do is see if anything is actually working. So our what we want is to check the output to the digit drivers, which on this particular case is pin easiest one to get to is pin 23. So we'll take a look at pin 23. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Looking at pin 23. That's pretty nasty. It's got digits on it. I mean, d data. But that doesn't look real good. <laughs> Let's uh, see if we can get this going just a little bit. There we go. That's not what you would call great. So if we got that kind of garbage on it. I wonder what the power pin looks like. The power pin on this thing is number 15. Let's take a look at 15. And there's 15. 
Wow, what, what, what have we got? Um, put this on ground somewhere. If that'll work. And we're on AC volts, 20 volts on the meter. Let's take a look at that and see what we got. AC voltage. We got three volts. Three volts of AC there. What does that tell us? Well, I'll tell you what that tells us. That tells us that we got a bad cap. Of course we have a bad cap. This thing is 84, 9404, 14, 30, uh, yeah, 30 some years old. Well, there ain't much in this way in caps except for right here. So let's take that out. I don't even think I have to take this out the box. I'll bet I can get to this thing just by... There we go. Let's check her and see what she is. Just for fun, I pretty much can guarantee you that this thing is going to be horrible. see that. No, can't see that there. Let's put it up here. It says it is 99 microfarads and ESR is 0.14K, 140 ohms. That's as high as this little box will go. That means that this thing is just completely shot. Not partially or total or kind of. It's totally shot. So, what is it supposed to be? 470 at 16. I don't think I have any 470s at 16. But considering this was a very long time ago, <laughs> uh, I got a 470 at 35. Here's a 470 at 16. It's actually smaller. We'll just use that. Okay. Now these things, the power supply in them, if you look at the schematic here, is pretty <laughs> uh, nothing. It, it's, it, well, basically your power supply is right there. Got a little transformer um, and the power supply, center ground, full wave rectified, and one filter cap. That's it. Well, 470 microfarad filter cap for 14 volts. So they had a 16 volt cap and a 14 volt power supply. That's I'm surprised it lasted this long. We'll look at this other little thing here in just a minute. Let's let's put this in. Yeah, this probably isn't prescribed way of doing this, but it's all wired together on the bottom down there directly, and it's just not easy to get apart. So fortunately, it's right up here at the top, so I can get to it without shorting anything else out. Sometimes you just got to do... I mean, I can see it. Everything's fine down there. Not shorting anything out. Nope, not shorting anything out. And... Cute. There you go. Don't leave your clippings inside the device. All right. Jump panel. Make sure that that looks okay. It does. This is the board in here is one of these deals that has. Um, <laughs> it's very. 
it's just solder traces on the bottom it's not it's not coated or anything so it'd be very easy to short those out they would make a nice bridge real easily all right well let's turn it on see what happens aha there we go looky there all I did was turn it on and it already started to count just by itself as soon as power came back let's hit the stop button it stopped started stop reset and go reset and continue going alright so it works cool one little cap okay so while we're at it let's take a look at it just for fun and see let's see what our AC voltage is here now it's going to be a little bit because well quite frankly uh, there just isn't a lot in the way of filtering in these things so my AC voltage now on pin 15 make sure I get ground there's ground on pin 15 my AC voltage now yeah half a volt 0.5 volts that's a heck of a lot better than three or whatever it was we saw before and if we take a look at it over here on the scope Remember that uh, pin 23 we were looking at before? Well, let's take a look at pin 23. There you go. Let's. Wow, I gotta do something about this. This thing has got to be the world's worst alligator clip. Love the scope though. Okay. Pin 23, reading data, but it doesn't have all that garbage across it. It's still got some hum on it. But let's look at our power supply pin. Turn it up a little. There's our power supply pin. Yeah, like I said, about about point. That's on two, one, about about one, or you know, one and a half peak to peak, or point. What we saw on the meter, about point five. So it's working. Cool. One little capacitor, but after 30 years of sitting there on the bench working the whole time, I guess you'd expect that, wouldn't you? Hmm. All right, well, there you go. That's a uh, radio system studio timer. One of, I think, 14 we've got in this place. <laughs> so it looks like I got my work cut out for me because I think they're all dead. So it doesn't take long to fix them. There you go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.